Hello world, today is Sunday, October 6th, 2024, and um, this is vlog number 172, 471, and so the purpose of these vlogs is to be a, a public journal and to speak about what is top of mind. I just finished um, the gateway process, uh, wave one, track five, uh, free flow. Um, this track is a um, free flow tent. It is um, it is a uh, about a 36, 35 minute uh, um, uh, session, free session about where you do what you kind of design to yourself. And again, it starts as all the uh, meditations in the first wave. They start with uh, the same practices: the energy conversion box, the "I am more than my physical body" affirmation, the uh, the resonant breathing exercise, and the the resonant energy balloon exercise, and and then focus ten, um, and then you get into focus ten, and. Uh, and, and then what I did personally in this session, I did, um, since you're, you're, it's intended to, 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 to be your own kind of uh, practice, anything you want. So what I did was, I did, I did, I was enjoying being in, in focus 10, which means your body is asleep, but your mind is fully awake. And I was really observing my uh, this uh, the state that is uh, the state that is like of the hemisync, which is the hemi brain hemisphere synchronization, which can be described as your mind energy being like a laser pointer compared to your everyday energy uh, being like a lamp, the light of a lamp, more diluted, distributed, and in a laser all the waveforms are the same in the same direction in the same uh, frequency so i was conscious of being in this state and just being present and it is it to me it is like a, a wonderful beautiful state and i it, it reminds me of having these moments uh, especially in my in my teenage uh, year time period when i had uh, been um, having a lot of intense anxiety and I remember a couple moments a couple evenings like these flashes of insight where my I sensed this kind of brain hemispheric synchronization this kind of uh, alpha state uh, in the Jose Silva method it's called it's uh, the alpha state brainwave state which is actually like measurable through EEGs uh, brain brain um, brainwave uh, energy, electrical energy uh, measurement devices. And um, so I remember having these moments when I would just jump into the state and for a couple seconds and just being like, oh, this is what is missing from all this anxiety and worry that I, that I was having. This moment of uh, this insight, uh, this moment of this uh, perfect state of the alpha brain brainwave state was to me a realization that that's the that's the solution to uh, soothing my 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 anxious mind. Uh, so that came back to me, and I was like, right, I remember that, and now I am doing it, and I am very glad that I am doing it now because this is how you heal. This is how you progress. This is how you grow. This is how you evolve as a human, as a spirit, as a person. So I, I realized that being on this on this path, on this practice, is. Uh, is is good it is this is this is like how i can grow and heal and evolve uh, i mean in this healing the word healing also came to me as a self-healing and i remember so um okay i may be i, I may be going off into too many tangents but uh, i remember getting up a tarot tarot card reading like two years ago at this like um festival in upstate new york and he was talking about self-healing this, this card this card the healer card came up and 
So I was like, yeah, I was just thinking about that. Um, what came to me is like healing is like, it's kind of like uh, this, this practice that I'm doing right now uh, is healing. Um, so, and during this free flow, Focus 10, I also, um, at some point I got into the more like the manifestation practices that I that I was doing through the Mind Valley course on manifestation, and some of those some of some of those uh, uh, some of those meditations and some of those uh, lectures or talks or videos came to me again about being an energetic match to your desired uh, manifestation, and I I imagined that like what that would be like, and then I was really imagining about how. I already have so much to be grateful for, like so much to be happy about, like just the fact that I'm I'm alive, I'm living or breathing, I uh, have all the bare basic necessities of life and have had some uh, very happy experiences, have to have visited other countries and get to be creative and, and be uh, work in a, in a field where I am learning and create and, and get to be creative and free as a programmer, as an entrepreneur, as a, as a creative uh, technologist. So there's already a lot to be like uh, grateful for. And it's like um, already just in the present moment, we already have everything we could ever uh, dream of or hope for. So the, the, re the kind of realization there is that uh, like a desire or want or desire it is a state in, in itself it, it is a thing in itself and if you look closer there's nothing there really the desire state is really kind of an illusion like this kind of desire i i want to um my manifestation is like i want to have a hundred thousand dollars in my bank account by like a certain date like january 2025 and yes that's like um that's something that's like a goal that I have and at the same time it's like if we like remove um, this kind of fear around it and also remove this kind of feeling of that's um, that would make me feel something like I can't imagine even what the truth is that like if I if that was true uh, if it is true if I have it right now what would I feel like if I had a hundred thousand dollars in my bank account right now um, I would feel the same way. I would be the same person. If you, maybe you had the same experience when you when you did have accomplished something that you you wanted to accomplish for 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 a long time, like I have, and then you realize you have it, and then you're like, oh, that okay. I'm still the same person. I'm still feeling and thinking the same way. So I was meditating on that, like how you actually can have uh, have a different. different attitude towards your goals and um, not be like not be like too uh, radiating kind of just too much desire mm -hmm. towards them towards your goal but like feeling what it would be like to have that already That was some water with some leftover cold brew. And that's 10 minutes. And I will conclude the vlog with a couple seconds of silence and meditation and sending vibrations of peace, goodwill, and love towards the world, towards you and people around me and people of the city and this country and this continent and this world.
Peace.